Hi, everyone. My name is Mohamed Musa. I'm founder and CEO at Deepin. And today we'll be talking about uh, ADAS and AV calibration. That's advanced driver assistance systems and autonomous vehicle calibration, uh, typically for uh, with multiple sensors. And we'll dig into the detail about that shortly. Uh, just to give you an idea uh, about Deepin, uh, we've been around for five years. Uh, working on annotation and calibration for many customers in the space. Uh, some of the names we can mention are Daimler, Bosch, Honda, Toyota, Nissan, uh, AVL, Conti, Suzu, Trimble, and, and many others. And kind of we've been doing a lot of sensor fusion data annotation over the years where we have a, a relationship pretty much with all of the LiDAR and radar providers. Uh, but now we are investing heavily in the calibration space and we're trying to attack calibration in a different scope, uh, basically solving the entire uh, life cycle, not just a, a particular calibration problem. And uh, to give you kind of a broad idea or a specific idea, uh, we, we are focusing on every sensor that is used in the, in the automotive space, from mono cameras to IMUs, uh, fisheye cameras, 360 degree, uh, cameras and uh, the different camera resolutions and types that you can imagine for things like blind spot detection, front facing ADAS, uh, surround view and uh, backup camera and the cameras looking at the ground and things like that. So we've done or we've supported all of these different camera types along with the more advanced uh, sensors uh, that are used for ADAS capabilities uh, for things like uh, adaptive cruise control, automated braking, uh, blind spot, and so on, uh, with radars, LIDARs, uh, and, and IMUs. And uh, with, with a focus on not just sensor-to-sensor -sensor calibration, but also sensor-to-system. So we support things like camera-to-vehicle, uh, radar-to-vehicle, LIDAR-to-vehicle, and we'll get into some of the details around target-based and targetless uh, calibration. The idea is we wanna provide a tool that is optimized for accuracy, but can be easily used by non-experts and uh, covers all of the different uh, sensor permutations uh, with ability, ability to visualize and quantify the error rate and the accuracy easily and quickly to debug if there are any issues. And uh, kind of what I mentioned earlier about the calibration lifecycle, we, we try to uh, solve calibration from the moment the, the ADAS feature or the AV capability is at the inception stage in the R&D, uh, all the way down to running real time on the edge on the vehicle for things like uh, detecting if the calibration is uh, degrading or, uh, or attempting to automatically correct calibration in real time. So for R&D, we offer a web-based tool uh, that is fully automated or can be fully automated with APIs. Uh, that has all of these sensor permutations so you can iterate quickly and uh, try different sensors, different positions, uh, different types of sensors to see how's the accuracy and get the calibrations really quickly. Then once you're happy with uh, what you've chosen, we can give you uh, optimized, super automated uh, workflow for production at the factory floor uh, that is uh, customizable and, and has no human in the loop whatsoever, but the ability to debug issues uh, very easily and very quickly in case something happens so that you don't need to stop the line uh, for a very long time if the calibration fails and the, the tool gives you or the, the software on the factory allows you to do that quickly. And finally, uh, real time is the hardest uh, problem to solve. Uh, we've, we've been optimizing our algorithms to run on the edge uh, for the specific uh, customer provided hardware and their own sensor setup. So typically this requires uh, an engagement, kind of a deeper engagement to provide that, but we support now cameras, radars, and IMU uh, for real-time uh, calibration automation or automatic calibration on the edge. Uh, and obviously the, the main use case is added safety and reliability of the ADAS and AV functionality for the vehicle. So how, how does it work? Uh, we, you, this is a snapshots from the R&D tool. Uh, you upload data from the various sensors and our tool will either allow you to 
uh, be engaged in the calibration process. So you, you can do some things manually, or you can just have uh, fully automated workflows to try to uh, automatically check the checkerboard, match it between the different sensors, and, and generate the extrinsic uh, parameters, or even intrinsics for, in the case of cameras, for example. We support intrinsic for both uh, camera and IMU. And uh, so kind of to make, uh, to make it very concrete or very specific, uh, here are some of the features we support in the tool today, like a stereo camera calibration, or we call it overlapping. It doesn't have to be exactly stereo camera. They could be any setup. Uh, this is targetless, so we will match and extract features between the two cameras uh, without the need for any uh, checkerboards or any targets. And then you can visualize the, uh, the different pairs of data that you've provided and uh, compare the accuracy, the reprojection error, and things like that uh, between, between the two cameras. Uh, second is a non-overlapping camera. So in this case, uh, because the cameras are not overlapping, we do need uh, something in the middle that can match the information from the right uh, to the left camera, or you know, depending on their location. Uh, and that it can either be done by a support camera or by another support sensor. Uh, but typically we, we require a support camera if you're gonna do it fully without targets. And the support camera must have intersection. So it will be kind of overlapping between these two non-overlapping cameras. And at the result, uh, we can do the calibration between the two non-overlapping cameras uh, completely targetlessly, as long as the support camera uh, shares a view between uh, the two cameras we're trying to calibrate. And uh, this typically works for uh, 360 degree views where you have a lot of different cameras on the vehicle. And if you're trying to uh, reduce the amount of data that you're processing and you don't want a lot of overlap between your different cameras, but then sometimes you, you have to have uh, uh, more backup or for redundancy reasons, you have to have some overlap. And we can use that overlap to uh, to, to do this kind of targetless calibration between, between the different cameras. And, uh, let me uh, go forward. Uh, we support uh, IMU, vehicle to IMU uh, calibration. This uh, just requires some uh, input files uh, with different positions of the vehicle, uh, when it's parked, when it's moving, and you upload those files, those extracts from the IMU, and then we provide you with the extrinsic a calibration between vehicle and IMU. Uh, with multiple LIDARs, in this case, we have two very different LIDARs with different scanning patterns and different number of lasers. Uh, this is completely targetless. So we take the data from both LIDARs and uh, we can uh, do the extrinsic calibration. Uh, the, the flow is not fully automated yet. It can be automated if we have some information about your sensors, but in this case, if we don't have that information, you can help the system make a, a conclusion on the locations of these two sensors and quickly uh, get to the extrinsics literally within a couple of minutes in, in our tool. And uh, this is with target-based uh, overlapping camera calibration. Uh, so you upload multiple pairs uh, with different targets from the right and left camera, and we can give you very, very accurate uh, extrinsic calibration uh, between <clears throat> between the overlapping cameras with with the quantified error metrics uh, between the two, we support both target based and targetless. Uh, obviously, targetless is a lot more flexible, but also less accurate. Target based requires targets, so it takes more time, uh, but it's extremely accurate. And and it within our with our tool, you can do it very quickly. Uh, lidar to lidar calibration, we support both. Uh, target-based and targetless. Uh, we showed targetless earlier. This one has a target. And uh, in this case, you can uh, get kind of more accuracy and you can automate uh, the flow completely because you have a target. So then you don't need to, uh, you don't need to provide other information about the two LIDARs. Basically, we can calculate the, the extrinsic parameters by uh, localizing on that target and using that to optimize our calculations. Uh, camera to vehicle calibration is done with a, typically a checkerboard uh, that you know the distance to, and uh, we give you very 
kind of uh, easy to use visualization to know uh, how is the relationship between the camera and the vehicle uh, in all coordinates, like basically six degrees of freedom, uh, X, Y, Z, and pitch on roll angles, uh, translation and angular uh, resolutions are provided. Uh, that's camera to vehicle in the same uh, sense, LiDAR to vehicle. Uh, we do support uh, LiDAR to vehicle targetless calibration, uh, but if you want kind of the best uh, accuracy, then you, we advise that you use targets. It, it can be automated uh, very quickly with a simple plain board target to, uh, to get the extrinsic calibration between the LiDAR and the vehicle. And LiDAR to camera, uh, which is, uh, I'm glad to announce that we are launching a bundle for LiDAR camera, intrinsic camera, and overlapping camera calibration for a very, very accessible price. So even education, academia, and uh, small research labs uh, can get their access to our uh, calibration tool with these three features at significantly reduced pricing. So if, if you're interested, please contact us. Uh, you can contact info at deepin.ai. Uh, but for LiDAR to camera, uh, essentially we support both target-based and targetless. With uh, targetless, it, uh, it, it can be automated. Uh, but the accuracy numbers may need some work. Uh, obviously, with target-based, we can do automatic extraction of the, of the target and match it between the two sensors and just provide a very automated workflow uh, for LiDAR to camera extrinsic calibration. We just need a checkerboard target in this case. Uh, radar to camera. So with radar, we do require a target. It has to be a trihedral uh, corner reflector. Uh, that you position uh, somewhere around the, the checkerboard. And as you can see in the visualization, we collect multiple pairs uh, with the checkerboard and trihedral target uh, so that we can calculate the extrinsic calibration and we provide uh, error metrics between the radar to camera. Uh, we do support uh, radar to vehicle as well. And uh, we have a number of other permutations uh, in progress, uh, work in progress. So we'd love to hear from you about what sensor pairs uh, you're working on, uh, what use cases you need. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you. And if there are any questions, please uh, contact us, info at deepin.ai, uh, like I mentioned earlier. And with that, I will conclude today's presentation. Uh, thank you, everyone. Take care.